Alright guys, so today we're loading into Horizon and what we're going to cover is just adding different simple scripts together into one script to make it do a multiple of things on one item. For instance, let's say we want to move a block or make it invisible and we also want to play a sound when that happens. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come to this nice little project that we've been playing with before. Um, let's take this nice little script here, delete it there. We're going to take this sound and delete it. So all we're left with is this nice little trigger. And then what I'm going to do is let's create an object that we're going to move here, such as the ball. And let's go ahead and do a sound effect. <laughs> There we go. So, oh, and we also want a script. This is scripting after all. And so what we'll go ahead and do, let's turn this big and put it into where we want it to be. So we've already gone over um, movements um, as far as the door. Uh, video, how to move an object left and right, um, which I guess we should cover movement by itself. We'll go ahead and do that in another video. But if you watch the door video that I have um, posted, uh, you'll see how we create a sliding door for the moving effect. We're going to use that same item here. And then we're also going to add a nice little sound to it as well. Um, that way when it moves, it causes a sound or after it moves, as soon as it stops, it causes a sound. Um, for instance, in one of my puzzles, I have a door that falls over, and when it hits the ground, it plays a boom sound and smoke comes out. And, in fact, let's let's do that too. So we'll go over here to Gizmos, and I'm just going to grab one of these particle effects, which I'm going to cover in another video. And I'm going to put that right down there. So that's just smoke every time that goes through. So what we can go ahead and do is open this script. And we're going to say when trigger is entered by player and when trigger is exited by player. So we're talking about this trigger. This is what's actually activating the different items and causing them to happen. And then what we want to go ahead and do is let's move an item. So I'm going to go over to variables and I'm going to name each object something different. So object, this is the ball object this is our sound effect and another object this is our actual effects so those are the three items that we have to move that's the three objects we have and what we're going to want to do is we're going to move by over time and move by over time and we're going to say that we want it to move by well, let's say one, and, but we're, we're not going to put it here. Let's put it here because we want it to move up and down. Again, the Y axis or the Y variable is up and down. And we're going to do the same thing here. One, we'll change this to zero, and we'll say over two seconds. And the reason why we're doing two seconds is I'm going to show you something here in just a moment. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, oh, and then it says on self. Um, we're going to come over here to ball. So basically what the script is saying is when we enter the trigger by the player, we're going to move one unit up and down, in this case up, and let's actually change this to negative one. So when we enter the trigger, it goes up one over two seconds on the ball, and then if we exit the trigger, it goes down one over two seconds on that ball. And we're going to name this, let's just name it tutorial here, keep it simple. So now when I come down here to my trigger, I'm going to pull this down, we're going to add tutorial, and now it's looking for ball sound and effects. Well, just so that we can cover it right here, I'm going to come up to my sound, open the variable, and grab my sound and attach it there. I'm going to come over here to my effect and we're going to grab our little effect here and move it to our effect and then we're going to come over here to our ball 
will go to our trigger, which is causing the actions to happen. When this trigger is activated, when it does something to the ball, it's going to do something to this object. This is the ball. So now we have everything wired. Our scripting, all we have is an action on the ball to go up and down. So let's go down here. And if I enter this object, it'll go up. If I exit the object, it'll go down. Pretty easy. Well now, when I do that, I also want it to play that sound every time I either go up or every time I go down. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go to this nice little actions, play sound, and we're going to play sound down here as well. And then what sound are we going to play, right? When, when trigger is entered by player, when it's exited by player, what, what are we going to do? Well, we come over here, we'll click our sound variable, and we're going to add it to that. And again, down here, we know that every time sound is affected, it's going to uh, activate that object there, because it's already connected. So that's what this is saying. So now, if I enter the object, it'll go up and play the sound. When I exit the object, it'll play the sound again. Now that's when entering and exiting. Well, we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Let's add the third option. And again, we're just taking a movement action and we're taking a sound action and we're just adding them together. Now we're gonna do a third option. So we're gonna come over here to actions. We're going to play visual effects. And in this case here, I don't wanna play the f effects when I exit. In fact, um, but we'll keep sound there. But effects, we want it to play when we go in, but not when we come out. And then we're not gonna play it on ourself because self says whatever this script is on, which in this case is on this trigger. We're gonna come over here on our variable and type, click our FX, and we're gonna drag it over here. And again, this could be named anything you want. I just named it FX so we know just simplistics. So now, Every time that ball starts going up, the smoke plays. If I pull out, you hear the sound, but no smoke. And when I push back in, that smoke plays. And that's where this play visual effects comes in. But let's say we don't want it to happen when we actually click on the button. We want it to happen when the ball reaches its destination. So this is a little extra here, which we'll cover in another video. Um, this is gonna be a delayed event. But I'm gonna come over here to events, and I'm gonna say, send event with delay. And I'm gonna put it right down here. And what this is telling us is that when this is entered by player, it's gonna do these three items and then it's gonna send this event after so many seconds. Well, because we know the ball is moving to this position after two seconds, I want this to send this after two seconds as well. That way when the ball reaches its destination at the two second point, this two seconds is gonna run out too and then activate whatever we want to do. And then I also have to do when event is received. And so I'll put it down here. So it's gonna send my event to itself, to this script, after two seconds when the ball reaches its destination. And when it gets that event, I'm gonna have it play that sound and I'm gonna have it play that effect. So now, when trigger is entered by player, it's just gonna make the movement and it's gonna send this event. And it's gonna take two seconds for this movement to get to where it wants to go, but it's also gonna take two seconds for it to activate my event, which will instantly activate sound and effects. Let's try that out. So if I put my hand in, and let me go ahead and, there we are. If I put my hand in, there you go. It took two seconds to get up to the top, and it took two seconds to activate the sound and the smoke. And then when I pull it out, it plays the sound instantly and doesn't do anything else. Because again, when it exits, it's not going to do anything there.
if I wanted to play, let's say, the smoke and the effects on both those items, I could then duplicate this. And now it'll move the ball up or down based on when the player enters the object or exits the object. And then no matter what happens, it's going to take two seconds for that object to move to its destination. And both of them are going to send the same event, my event, to self over two seconds. So no matter if you exit or enter after two seconds, it's going to send the same event to play that sound and effect. So now, if I put my hand in the object, two seconds, smoke and sound. If I let go of the object, smoke and sound after the two seconds. And so you can kind of see, all we did was we took these separate little items and we added them on top of each other. This is one action by itself. This is one action. This is one action. By putting them all three together, we've now made one nice little script there that does three things all at once. And we've did something a little more complex than just one item. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you find something great to do with it, really intriguing. Um, with that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to post down below in the comments. And with that, please like and subscribe. You guys have a great rest of your day.